now that we have the basic understanding of modules how modules work and how the require function works in lua we are ready to create our own module and we will see two methods of creating modules in this lesson so in in order to create a module we will create a table we have already seen that modules are nothing but a table and this table has a number of functions and their implementations so first we create an empty table we can give it a name and then we put all the functions we want to export inside this table and finally we return this table at the end of this file so either uh, we will return the table name which is the first method or we will return a list which will have uh, a list of functions we have just defined inside that function so let's look at the first method i call it simple module method so first uh, it's a file called mod.lua or whatever is the name of your module and you create an empty table and then you create define some functions and finally you put it inside this like mod.foo1 equal to this you could have also written like a uh, local mod equal to instead of creating empty table you can start assigning values here like foo1 equal to function and the exact same function definition and foo2 and other function definitions and finally you return mod i have done it in exact the, this way first i create a table put the functions inside it so both are equivalent and we will see that uh, both are equivalent and run exactly the same way so first let's look at this method one so we will yeah i have created a lua file called vec2d.lua and here i will be creating our module which will handle different operations on a vector in 2d vector can be n dimensional uh, but let's say we are considering a two dimensional vector that is in a plane xy plane so first we need to create a table then what are the operations that we want to expose one method can be how to create a vector given its two coordinates so let's define this function so either way like uh, function name equal to function or local function and the argument list so it will take two arguments x and y uh, because in we denote vector as x then i unit vector so let's say i is this unit vector along x direction plus y and unit vector along y direction if we have more components we would have more unit vectors so we need two variables two values x and y to denote a vector in 2d and we will so every vector will have a uh, two features or two properties called x and y coordinates so x equal to x you can give a different name also like i and j and that should also work and we return this vector and then end i forgot to give it a name let's give it new because here we are creating a new vector now we want to add two vectors so it should take two vectors v1 and v2 and it should return the result of that so we can return x equal to v1 dot x so the vector addition works like we add uh, the components of two different vectors along the same direction the different values along different components so all the values along x components are added together and y together so here we are just 
providing a way to add two vectors and not more. So it will check exactly two vectors as input whose resultant x component result will also be a vector whose x will be uh, so in this case we have i v1 dot i so you have to maintain consistency you need to keep in mind what are the two features here and j is v1 dot j plus v2 dot j similarly for subtract and then uh, let's say we want to give a function for printing the vector print vec and it will take one vector as input and then print it so let's say we want to print it in table form i equal to So this would print the vector and we will now we these are just local function these are not part of this table this module that we want to export so we, what we will do we will do vec 2d dot whatever name you want to give you can give a different name but I will keep the same name as the name of local variables And once we are done with it, if you want to keep some uh, functions private, uh, which cannot be accessed by any other module, which is uh, importing this module, then you can, you may skip assigning it to this table. So for example, here subtract is a local function. Uh, we will see a demo of it shortly. So let's export it first. So now we have created a module, defined some functions for that module and then exported the module. And here in the client code, we can have a variable, let's say vec, and this will call require vec 2D. And then let's say we create a few vectors, v1 equal to vec dot new. 10 and 20 so 10 and 20 so if uh, this is our xy plane then 10 and 20 this vector will be somewhat like this this is 10 this is 20 and this is v1 we can write it as 10 20 or 10i plus 20j. Let's say we create another vector which is mirror image of this that is minus 1020 this is v2 and if we add these it will result in a vector like this whose x component will be 0 and y will be 40. So this plus this. So these two vectors are equivalent. You can draw it here also. And this will be 90 degrees and this will be uh, not 90 degrees. Sorry, this is uh, 2 is to 1 ratio. So it's more than 45 degree. So you can find out uh, what is the uh, degree, but you will see that it forms an isocellus triangle where this 
value same as this value because their magnitudes are same. So let's uh, do it in our code. Let's create a vector v2 equal to vec dot new minus 10 20 and local v equal to so we have added these and we will also call our print function so vec dot print vec v and then we will run the code we got some error uh, so we have missed some end somewhere so in C++ this is the problem when you are coding in other languages so here there is no ending of a function is not by curly braces but by end same mistake here new is fine print is fine so let's run it again so the mistake is at line 35 in vec2d so it's not export it's return so we re return it now let's run it and it works as expected so the resultant is 0 because this 10 and minus 10 cancel out and then this 10 20 plus 20 is 40 uh, let's also try adding it and you see the difference is 10 minus minus 10 is 20 and this y value cancel out and now let's say we want to make this subtraction private so what we will do we will not add it to the exported functions list and now if we call it we get an error because uh, this when we require call require this uh, module is imported here as a table the exact same table that we created here but this sub is not part of this table this is a local function to this module so uh, vec dot sub is nil so that is what it is complaining so this is how we define private functions now we will see the second method of creating modules uh, so in earlier method we had created a table then added some functions to it and then exported that table so here we define the functions the same way and but while exporting we don't add all of these like uh, module name dot f foo one equal to foo one we don't need to assign all of these once we have defined some functions all the functions that you want to expose put it in this table so you return a table and you return different key and the value are these function definitions so let's modify our code to work with new implementation so we don't need to do much we will comment out this part of the code and this is also not used so it will not be required so we will simply return a table where new equal to new add equal to add you can give a different name here So we return this let's change some implementation so that we are uh, sure that it's the new implementation so here let's say we add some extra characters in the print function and now we run our client code and you see that we don't need to change it this is so this is just another way of creating our modules and you see these extra characters here so it's using our newer implementation so these are the two ways of uh, easier ways of creating modules there were some older ways of creating modules also in uh, Lua I am not going to cover that here